Geddington is the most famous village you've never heard of. Set in the heart of the Northamptonshire countryside, and next to the Royal Forest of Rockingham, the village was home to a hunting lodge built sometime in the 12th century. Under Henry III, the lodge was improved and enlarged in order to provide a small palace to accommodate the Queen while the King was off hunting. So important was Geddington that meetings of the King's Royal Council took place here. After the Black Death ravaged England in the 14th century, the palace fell into disrepair and its stonework began to find its way into other local buildings. The church burial ground now occupies the site to the north of the church where the palace once stood. However, one very important reminder of the village's royal past still survives. This is an Eleanor Cross, commissioned by Edward I as a memorial to his dead wife, Eleanor of Castile. Edward and Eleanor were married when Edward was 15 and Eleanor just 13 years old. By all accounts, it was a love match that produced 15 children. So, when in 1290 Eleanor died unexpectedly whilst on her way to join Edward in Scotland, the King was reportedly heartbroken. An elaborate funeral cortege was arranged to carry Eleanor's body the 200 miles back to Westminster. Edward himself walked in front of the cortege, and wherever the funeral party stopped for the night, he ordered a monument to be built in her honour. From the location of the 12 monuments that were built, we can see that, rather than simply travelling south down the Great North Road, the procession took a detour, probably so it could visit one of Eleanor's and Edward's favourite retreats, the Royal Palace at Geddington. Geddington is one of only three original crosses to survive the Puritan iconoclasts of the Civil War, the other two being at Hardingston and Waltham Abbey. The cross outside London's Charing Cross station is a Victorian replica. The Geddington Cross is based on triangular and hexagonal columns which rise to almost 40 feet in height. It contains sculptures that show Eleanor in her prime, the folds of her dress hiding tantalising glimpses of her lithe figure and long hair. Eleanor's coat of arms and details of rose petals and flowers, perhaps a reference to her and Edward's love of gardens, adorn the lower parts of the structure. The cross is located at the meeting point of several roads. However, nowadays Geddington has lost its royal connections and survives only as a sleepy English village, complete with a beautiful medieval bridge and ford, thatched cottages and even cricket on the village green. The much renovated church of St Mary Magdalene contains this double arcade with Norman arches on one side and older Romanesque arches on the other. Visitors to the village can enjoy a meal and a drink at the Star Inn before visiting the spectacular historic stately home of Borton Park which lies just one mile outside the village. If you want to know more about Edward I's place in the history of Britain, you could get a copy of The Survival Guide to British History, Volume 1, available from Amazon on the link in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos all about Britain.